Yes, how you doing? It's Henry. And motors and blowers! Good morning. It's about 55 degrees today, but it's super, super windy. Uh, that's right. I have the um, golf cart out today. Well, I'm out here on the golf cart. Um, it's warm enough to be out here, so I figured I'd kind of open things up and just picture in my mind what I want to do about the next step. The next step is to permanently because I haven't screwed on the nuts on there so the engine's loose on there but it looks like it'll work with the transmission you know with the new belt and all uh, I've got plenty to do trust me uh, I want to get the starter generator affixed on here somehow as you know this engine is a Honda um, forget what it is but it's 11 horsepower horizontal right GX 340 I believe uh, anyway it's a substitute to my Wisconsin Robin 11 horsepower that I sold actually. Uh, I sold it as is. It didn't run because of uh, magneto, ignition coil, those issues where it wasn't getting spark. So I didn't want to mess with it. I had a Honda engine and this thing seems to run really well on it right now. But it just needs throttle control, choke control, on and off switch, and we want it to start through the starter. So I don't have to stand there and pull it to start. You know, it's inconvenient because you gotta move the back um, uh, bed off and then the seat up. You know, so it's a pain in the butt. Here is the uh, starter generator. It doubles as a starter. When you put power to it, it turns. Therefore, it turns the. Uh, crankshaft on the engine when the switch is on and it'll start the engine and once the engine does start it continues to uh, charge electricity to the battery this is the original bracket that was on here but I need to fabricate this bracket onto the pillar there that uh, will accommodate about six or eight more inches forward than I originally had it so my plan is this um, this is the original bolt that goes through this uh, these two holes here that holds the starter generator onto this bracket. It does pivot, right? But if you tighten it and I'll solidify it with some other bracket, whatever. But um, my plan is to use this existing bracket and just drill two new holes down to around there. See? Can you guys see this? Yeah, okay. So I would uh, take this, um, these wires off, right? These. Uh, zip ties out so that this beam is exposed right and it looks like I can mount it with these two holes here right and then when I do that line up the pulley line up this pulley with that pulley right and this pulley is the clutch this is very heavy uh, so once this turns through the solenoid right once that turns I have to figure out a switch to the solenoid to make this turn onto the battery right uh, battery powering this through the solenoid turning it once you turn it right uh, you have the power switch there which I'm gonna relocate to the uh, dash eventually you turn it on turn the switch power goes to the solenoid turns the starter turns this engine starts regenerates electricity to the battery but I need to first adhere this bracket onto there so I'm thinking these two holes right there uh, I'm holding this with my hand so it's heavy <clears throat> drill two holes here zoo, zoo. get two big long bolts that go through so it holds it really tight make sure that this doesn't pivot put the belt in between here onto the pulley and that should be it uh, that's for that part at least you know so that's what my thought process is and uh, I'm gonna first uh, clear these wires draw the holes get a drill start doing some drilling and find some bolts uh, but first I should put the belt through here and to get the belt off here it's pretty easy because this engine is not mounted on the bolts are through the holes but I don't have it I don't have the nuts on there, you know? So I, I did that so that I could get this belt off. You know, you gotta kind of pivot the engine 
so that this gives it some slack, right? And then that, ooh, okay, so I can take this off, no problem. So if I can take the belt off, just like that, I'm gonna put the uh, original belt for the starter generator on here first. Uh, I don't know if the length is gonna work, but we'll try it though. I sure hope I remember where all these damn wires went, because I don't really remember right now. So we're gonna cut this so that um, this is free. Free! So that we have this thing nice and open. Then, uh, you know what, I'm, because it's so heavy, right, uh, I need to kind of look at it anyway. You put that like that. I have to uh, make sure that the this pulley lines up with uh, that pulley there. Then draw some holes and uh, uh, you know what, I think that, I think that it, I would need a new belt because the belt looks too short for this distance. Uh, maybe if I try putting this uh, generator on in between here on this side, it'll shorten the distance. Uh, I'm gonna see. by Henry. So about two years ago, you're stealing from the Postal Service, So Henry? about two years ago, Quinn and oh. I bet on the Super Bowl. He won 50 bucks from me, and then last year we pushed because I was trying to get it back. This year we bet again, you guys know. And finally, redemption, baby! I actually, I'm up on him by $10 because we did the overnight. Thanks, Quinn. Now you know what this means for next year. We're gonna have to go crazy. We're gonna have to bet 120 bucks <laughs> so that you're gonna get your money back, or at least try to. <laughs> so after swapping the uh, starter from the left side to the right side, uh, the belt that I was now actually too long, so that wouldn't work. Not to mention the fact that the the starter would rest on this part here, the engine, and because this is supposed to move up and down with the uh, uh, suspension, right, and the transmission, I don't want this to move and hit this thing, so it'll vibrate and that's no good. So either way, this belt, the original belt, is not going to fit on this setup that I have, so I have to find another belt uh, that's, uh, I think this is half inch or something like that, another belt that's longer, you know. So um, I'm gonna mark it. I just did a little mark over there, and I that that's where the pulleys line up. Okay, so I'll just uh, drill a hole there and drill a hole there all the way through this beam, and then uh, find two raw uh, bolts to secure it. So that that ought to do it.
so I've been looking for a belt. I had a whole bunch of belts and I can't find one that's lots of belts, all kinds of belts. And I just couldn't find one that was exactly what I needed. Even though the starter generator can pivot upwards and go as low as that, but it doesn't really uh, make a difference with the distance all so much. Uh, I want to try to keep it high because you know why? Because look, if you stretch out this belt to make it fit, right? Look at that. It touches this area here, right there. So if it was high up, it probably wouldn't touch. But if this was lower, this would touch. Even if it did touch, I could just cut this corner off and it wouldn't touch. But either way, I do need a belt that's uh, that length, you know, it's a little bit too, sh too long. And uh, every other belt I have is either too short, you know. So, uh, you know, that's a little piece of it again, you know. We've got, um, we've got the bracket on here onto the uh, beam. We have the starter generator on here. I haven't figured out how to wire the whole thing back again. I forgot. So I might have to go watch my videos again. I've got wires everywhere. I don't, I forget how it connects, you know? And um, so if I just tighten that bolt, this thing should stay in place and then find the belt so I could, you know, at, at least I was able to get out here and do something along the lines of um, getting this uh, at least a, a little bit going at a time, you know? I, I told you guys it was gonna be a long drawn out process of, uh, getting this going because there's so much fabrication involved and modification to the new engine um, I mean look I am excited about it and stuff like that but uh, <laughs> you know it doesn't it doesn't motivate me a lot because there's, because there's so much work to do but this is obviously a long-term project I mean I still have a list this long about things to do and I haven't even messed with the brakes yet uh, the brakes actually are seized because the jack is actually pinching brake cable found that out recently when I tried to step on it, it would move. Uh, that's a little piece of it. Getting the starter generator motor mounted onto the beam is part of it. Getting a uh, getting the right belt is another thing so that we could test it to see if it actually starts the engine, you know. But uh, like I said, a little piece of the uh, Workhorse 1200 Easy Go uh, Honda engine repower project. <laughs> see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. next time on mowers and blowers if you guys enjoy the video remember to give me a like also comment below subscribe remember it doesn't cost anything to subscribe it's free right also hit that little bell that way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them remember to follow my instagram and facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two paypal.me slash mowers and blowers really appreciate all the support also to keep the videos coming every day support the channel bye